let's take a look at the best new features of the 2023 Mac Mini. Of course, we have to start off the list with the M2 and M2 Pro processors that are on the inside. The M1 chip was an 8-core with an 8-core GPU. Now, we have an 8-core CPU inside of the M2, or if you opt for the M2 Pro, it can go all the way up to a 12-core. You can also get a 10-core GPU with that M2 processor, which is two more than the prior generation, or you can go up to 19 cores with that M2. Number two of the new features is ports. On the entry-level Mac Mini, not much has changed. Everything pretty much looks like it did on the prior generation. We have an Ethernet, two Thunderbolt Type-C ports, an HDMI port, two USB-A ports, and a headphone jack. But if we look at the new M2 Pro version of the Mac Mini, we have everything the same, but now there are four Thunderbolt 4 ports. SSDs. Apple has upgraded the internal SSDs on the new Mac Mini. I'm not talking about the base model 256 gigs of storage that it actually dropped in speed, but now there are new four terabyte and eight terabyte capacities. Apple previously capped it at only two terabytes with the M1 processor. Let's discuss the unified memory. There are a few upgrades here. First, the M1 could handle either eight gigs or 16 gigs of unified memory. Now, Apple gives you the option with the M2 for eight gigs, 16 gigs, or 24 gigs. But if you opt for the M2 Pro, you can choose either 16 gigs or 32 gigs of that unified memory. It is also faster than it was before. Apple previously had a limit of 66.67 Gbps bandwidth, but now it's up to 100 Gbps on the M2 and 200 Gbps on the M2 Pro, more than three times the M1's memory bandwidth. Let's revisit that HDMI port. Apple has upgraded the built-in HDMI, moving from HDMI 2.0 to HDMI 2.1. The biggest difference users will notice with HDMI 2.1 is that you can now connect an 8K external display at 60 hertz, or if you plug in a 4K display, it can now run up all the way to 240 hertz. So if you have a gigantic high resolution monitor or want that super fast refresh rate, those are options thanks to the upgraded HDMI port on the new Mac minis. Wi-Fi 6E. Finally, I have already talked about this on the new MacBook Pros, but Apple has moved to Wi-Fi 6E. The biggest thing that Wi-Fi 6E does is that it enables you to use the 6 gigahertz bandwidth aside from 2.4 and 5. For crowded buildings, apartment buildings, cities, this can definitely improve speed and performance of your network. And I'm even seeing improved speeds and performance on my own network that's just Wi-Fi 6. Since we're talking about wireless connectivity options, I should talk about Bluetooth. Apple has upgraded the Bluetooth from 5.0 to 5.3. There's not gonna be very many user-facing features on Bluetooth 5.3, but it definitely should help with some connectivity issues or other Bluetooth limitations that the Macs previously had. Lastly, we come to the price. Apple has dropped the price of the new Mac Mini by $100 here in the US, going from $699 to $599. And what's better yet, is on the education store, the new Mac Minis with the M2 chip start at only $499. You can get an M2 Mac Mini for less than $500, which is incredible. So not only has Apple made the new Mac Mini more powerful and more capable than it ever has been in the past, but it has dropped the price at the same time. I think that's a huge deal. So that's it, those are the new features on the new Mac Mini. Let me know what your favorite one is down below in the comments and grab one for yourself at the link in the description.